Hello guys, nice to have you again. So today we're gonna talk about this exercise and it is on E minor scale. I'm gonna use as you saw like two strings. I'm gonna use the G and the D. And uh, all the time I will gonna try to explain two patterns at the same time and to repeat them. So the first pattern, it's four, two on G, then on D, four, two, okay? So I'm using ring, index, G, then ring, index, on D. Then I will go with my middle finger to G, on the 5th fret, then 4th fret, G. Then I will go to D with middle finger on the 5th fret, then to the 4th fret, D. So, 5, 4, 5, 4, okay? So both two patterns sounds like repeat them twice. Okay? So ring index ring index middle uh, index middle index. So those the first two pattern. Okay? And now move to the second uh, to the third pattern. It's on the 7 G 5 also on G, then to the D, I will go to the seventh, then the fifth. So seven, five, seven, five. Then I'm gonna move to the G, to the ninth fret with my ring finger, then the seventh, also on G, then D, it's gonna be ninth and seven. So both two buttons, That was it's seven five seven five nine seven nine seven. So those four patterns together. Okay. And number five. It's uh, eleven nine on G. So it's ring, index, and then I will go to the D string with middle on the 10th, with, uh, with my middle finger on the 10th fret, and then the 9th fret on D with my index. So on G, it's uh, 11, 9, then on D, 10, 9. So ring, index, middle, index. Okay? So this is the first one, and the second one is... 12, 11 on G, so it's ring and middle, and then to the D string it's 12 and 10, okay? So it's like the 12th with my ring finger, and then the 10th with my index, okay? So, so ring, middle, ring, index, okay? So it sounds like So from the beginning Okay And then I'll move to the 14th fret on G with my ring and then the 12th index finger on the G with my index, the 12th fret. Then I will go to the D, also 14 and 12. So you notice guys, all the time I'm using like, the most of the time I'm using the ring and the index, okay? Except like we had it here once and here we had it also. So here, as we said, we're back to the 14, 12, 14 and 12, okay? Then I'll go to the 16, 14, G, 16, 14, D, okay? Also ring index, ring index. So the last two patterns. Okay, 
So, from the beginning. And it's really important, the alternate picking. So I hope that you notice the movement of my right hand and the last is that I'm going to do like I'm going to do 17, 16 and 14. So it's pinky ring and index on G, then on D the same it's 17, 16 and 14. So So actually I I go up like with the minor E minor scale. So and then to the E power. Okay. So from the beginning. So again. What we learned here is on E minor scale, we did two strings together, the G and D. We mo most of the time we were doing it like with a ring index, ring index. The second pattern like it was middle index, middle index. Third pattern is like ring index, ring index. The fourth ring index, ring index. The fifth we did like ring index, middle index. And then the one after it, so it's ring, middle, and then ring, index. Okay, then ring, index, ring, index. Then again, ring, index, ring, index. And the last one, pinky, ring, index, pinky, ring, index. And as we said, like we repeat each two patterns together. So like we did the first pattern and second pattern, like... Thanks for watching guys and I hope that you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and share and see you soon. Bye bye.